Na mitologia grega, Ícaro foi o primeiro ser humano a voar, mas caiu porque chegou muito perto do sol e as asas derreteram. Hoje, o sol deixou de ser problema, virou solução, porque é ele que fornece energia para esse avião que, sem usar uma só gota de combustível, é capaz de atravessar um continente. E dentro de pouco tempo, essa tecnologia vai ser usada para dar a volta ao planeta. A aventura do avião que voa com a luz. É o que você vai ver agora no Globo News Ciência e Tecnologia, que está começando. Uma aventura extraordinária na aviação moderna. Foram mais de dois meses, desde a decolagem em São Francisco, na Califórnia, até o fim da missão, a mais de 5.500 quilômetros de distância. Quando completou quase 19 horas de sua última etapa, um voo entre Washington e Nova York, que, em um jato comum, leva pouco mais de uma hora, o Solar Impulse tornou-se o primeiro avião a cruzar os Estados Unidos de costa a costa, usando apenas a energia do Sol. like to demonstrate that the clean technologies, that means the technology that, that allow to reduce energy consumption and which allow to produce renewable energies, can achieve incredible things. Very often, you know, clean technologies are associated with reduction of mobility, reduction of lifestyle, very green behavior, you know, fighting against the industry. But we want to show that it's the opposite. With clean technologies, you achieve incredible things, but you also are in a world of job creation, economical growth, and at the same time, protection of the environment. It's a win-win. How a machine like this creates more jobs? How does it create new technology? In this specific case, we have developed what we needed with solar impulse to be able to fly day and night with no fuel at all, just on solar power. It means the best electrical motors the best batteries in terms of energy density, the most efficient insulation material, the lightest carbon fiber structures, the most efficient lighting systems with LED uh, lamps. All these things we demonstrate with Solar Impulse and it works. And now our partners are bringing them on the market. And this is what the world needs, you know, to save the natural resources of the planet. We need this product that can reduce energy consumption everywhere. A tecnologia que move o Solar Impulse, em teoria, é capaz de mantê-lo no ar eternamente. Mas essa versão da aeronave, que não tem controles automáticos, nem um lugar para dormir, não permite voos com mais de um dia de duração. O desafio agora é criar um avião solar que possa dar a volta ao planeta sem usar combustível. I think our airplane is, uh, is uh, at the top of what we can do today everywhere. We have 80 partners who have developed, improved the technology that we have. Uh, so that's, I think, worldwide, because we worked with international companies and really, really people all, all around the world. Worldwide is really what you get best. Uh, but of course, this will improve over time. And what will improve over the time, uh, certainly, is the storage capacity of batteries. For us, that's a limit, that's the limiting factor. I think today is the best we have, or we can have, but I'm sure in five years it can double or it can triple. The energy we, we collect during the day with the, with the wing, with the solar generator, uh, can make you run the electric motors, so fly the entire day, uh, allows you to climb to 30,000 feet, allows you to fill up the batteries, so that then you can, with the energy in the batteries, fly, fly the entire night, and continue the following day exactly with the same cycle. This, this airplane can almost fly perpetually. Uh, we could have flown from San Francisco to New York uh, in one go, 
The reasons why we did not do that is that we have a pilot on board and the pilot is not sustainable yet. And we have no autopilot in this aircraft and the pilot has to fly manually all the time. So we limited our flights to 24 hours. The highest level we achieved with Solar Impulse until now is to cross the United States. After having flown only in Switzerland, Europe, cross the Mediterranean, so coming to America, coast to coast flight, you know, that's, that's mythical. But of course the aim is to fly around the world. And this is what we want to achieve by 2015 with the second airplane, Solar Impulse number two, which is in construction right now. The motors of the second airplane will have an efficiency of 94%. That's the motor, the gearbox, everything, the electronics, which means the losses are only 6%. You know how efficient is the motor of a car? It's about 30%. So you lose 70%. 70% is lost, is transformer's heat. And here we have 94% efficiency. So electric motors will definitely take over in transportation market, but we have to store energy and that's the great challenge short term and that's what we have been working on uh, on, on this question here. Um desafio como voar ao redor do planeta impulsionado pela natureza não assusta Bertrand. Na verdade, o sobrenome Picard se tornou um símbolo na área da exploração. O avô de Bertrand, Auguste, era físico e inventor criou o primeiro balão pressurizado e chegou aos 23 mil metros de altitude. A ideia de criar um cilindro de mergulho resistente a altas pressões foi usada pelo pai de Bertrand, Jacques Picard, para criar o batiscafo Trieste, no qual chegou em 1960 ao ponto mais profundo dos oceanos, o Challenger Deep, uma depressão a quase 11 quilômetros abaixo da superfície. Tudo o que podemos imaginar, alguém um dia vai tornar realidade. A frase é de Júlio Verne, autor de Cinco Semanas em um Balão. Stark insanity! Are we all to be smashed to smithereens in this fool machine? That was not my original intention. Em 1999, Bertrand Picard, junto com Brian Jones, logrou o maior feito do balonismo: dar a volta ao planeta sem escalas. Both the balloon flight around the world and solar impulse are pioneering feats. It means you have no benchmark, you have nobody to copy, you're just entering into a completely unknown territory and you have to invent the solutions. And this is what I like, you know, pioneering spirit, exploration. Uh, th th this is just fabulous because it stimulates human creativity. Uh, if you want to compare now the balloon flight with solar impulse, uh, the balloon flight around the world, that was the ultimate achievement you could do with ballooning that was already 200 years old. So I would say it was almost the end of the cycle. With solar impulse, it's the beginning of a new cycle because there were aviation for 100 years, but with gasoline, with kerosene, consuming a lot of energy. And solar impulse with no fuel at all is the beginning of something else. So of course, it's still an airplane that is very large, for just one pilot, flies in good weather, flies slowly at uh, 40 miles an hour. But for the beginning, it's really good already because we can fly theoretically forever. It will be much more difficult to go around the world because we will make some legs with one single pilot on board, which will be five to six days. So the pilot will How live in the sleep? cockpit. So autopilot, uh -huh. toilet in uh -huh. the seat, you can lie down and uh, make little naps. 20 minutes at the time, but nevertheless, the flight across the Pacific, that will be maybe six days, the flight on the Atlantic maybe four days. So it's much higher level than what we do here because with this airplane, as we have no autopilot and no toilet, we limit ourselves to 24 hours. So it will be very challenging. It will be challenging for the technology, it will be challenging for the pilot, it will be cha challenging for the team who has to predict the weather coordinate the air traffic control and, and all that. But you know, if it was easy, 
everybody would have done it already. <laughs> and what is really important for us is really to position Solar Impulse into the history of exploration of all these big feats who have changed the face of the world since 100 years with aviation. You've done one of them. I've done one with a balloon flight around the world. It's true that everybody thought it was impossible and I could do it. And you know, this shows that human beings can always achieve more than what they think. The limit is not outside. The limit is in our head. And with Solar Impulse, I tell you, we have no limits in our head in the team. We, we really built this program with passion, dedication, good technology, good partners, and this allows us to make things that everybody was just believing it was impossible before. Bertrand esteve no Brasil em 2002, onde foi homenageado por seu feito. Brazil is a country that is so welcoming. People are so friendly. And I remember a moment after my flight around the world in the balloon, I was invited in Boituva by the balloon club. And they made a special balloon meet for me. And all these guys, they were coming with their balloons and there was the huge barbecue and they all made the special t-shirt to welcome me. And uh, oh, I cannot, I cannot forget that. And if some of them are watching the show, I would like to tell them I remember so much still 12 years later.